Right. When Chief Bess made that announcement earlier this month, there were some council members, not all of them, who put out statements saying they're really sad to see Chief Bess leave. Now, that package of bills that was passed earlier in the month, essentially the first round of, of packages or bills that would defund the police department, the council will need to look at those once again because they've been vetoed by the mayor. They'll do that uh, relatively soon. Still, Chief Bess says her recognition is due in part to, quote, an overarching lack of respect for the officers. In recent months, her department has been criticized for the use of force by officers involving blast balls and tear gas during the protests following the death of George Floyd. Now, Chief Bess has served with the department for a very long time, since 1992. She was promoted to chief in 2018, and she is Seattle's first female black police chief. We spoke to the president of the police union who has strongly been opposed to cuts to the department about best resignation. She was chosen by our community to have the mayor pick her as the police chief. And yet what's being lost is her leadership and we're losing a quality human being. We're losing one of our own due to politics. And to me, that's unacceptable. So we also reached out to council for comment on Chief Best last day. Uh, they are in recess until the 8th of this month. When they return, that is when they once again will vote on the package of bills that uh, defund the police department. Essentially, this would take away uh, $3 million of their budget. It would also shrink the force by about 100 officers. The first time this was voted on, it passed 7 to 1. Now, coming up on King 5 News at 6 in just a half hour, Chief Best is actually going to be joining us live for an exclusive interview to talk about her career and everything that has led up to this day. Again, that'll be this morning right here at 6 a.m. Live in Seattle, Kelly Greenberg, King 5 News.